fourth quarter, obviously that's when the game was lost. Uh, maybe just speak to the start of it, because you started the lineup, I think you had Durant, Bill, Diop, Lee, and Metu. What made you go with that to start the Yeah, we, we anticipated them going to Jackson at the five at, at that point, so we want to have a you know a better lineup. We were having trouble with him. Uh, we had J.O. in foul trouble, so you saving some. We flipped uh, Bradley's rotation to try to get a slow first half, you know, and uh, and a slow. He had a couple buckets in the third quarter, so we flipped his in, his and Grayson's rotation, leave him in there a little, a little bit longer, try to get him, uh, you know, in, into a rhythm. And um, you know, typically we would have Brad and KD in at, at that point, so it was Grayson and KD instead of instead of Brad. And um, you know, they went on a little run there, but you know, we didn't. We just didn't execute well enough. We didn't play well enough for 48 minutes, honestly. We started the game strong. Um, we came in at halftime saying that um, we didn't play our best basketball, but we were happy to have a five-point lead. But we didn't deserve to win tonight. Curious with, with Kevin, you, know, you obviously when guys come back from injury like that, put them on the range, did he go over that tonight a little bit? Uh, it was within. It was, it was close to the range. Okay. How, how do you think he played considering um, he hadn't played in, in three games? Yeah, he battled. You know, I mean, he fought through it. Uh, it's always, uh, it's always tough because you're trying to rehab and get healthy, but you know you, you can't really get up and down and, and keep your legs under him. But um, I thought he scored the ball well and played a good game. You mentioned after the last game that you guys finished the game. Um, how disappointing is it tonight not to finish when you have an 11-point lead going into the fourth? Yeah, it's, it's always disappointing. Yeah, you know you have a double-digit lead at any point in the fourth quarter or to start. Uh, it's disappointing, uh, but we didn't play well enough to win tonight, so you know we didn't deserve that W. Get back to work tomorrow. Coach, for the topic the other night of game plan discipline and playing tendencies, Grizzlies come into the night the worst three point shooting team in the league. How many of those were you okay with that you guys gave up, and how many do you think were poor in the rotations? I mean, shot 50 of them, so I can't really evaluate all 50. <laughs> um, but we want to take away the paint. You know, whether Jaws in there or not, we want to take away the paint. But you, know, you can look at worst three-point shooting team in the league or, or whatever stat you threw out there. They're not a great three-point shooting team. They made 23 against the Lakers last game. So teams go through different phases of their season. They got uh, you know, more guys in than they've had. You know, they've been injury riddled most of the season. We know they're capable, um, but they made 17 of them. It's 49 too many when the math starts to really fork against you in that regard. I mean, it's, you just got to take away the paint and you got to guard the three. You got to do both. You know, that's what we talk about all the time is, you know, we want to pay an emphasis, but it's, you know, it's a multiple effort game if you want to be great. And uh, we've got to guard both. Coach, how much of a challenge can Marcus Smart be when he gets going? And like we saw those hustle plays out there too. Yeah, he's a winner. You know, he makes, he makes all those hustle plays. And, um, you know, he's a threat to shoot the ball from three. You know, the way he made eight threes last game. Um, you know, just does, does a lot of the intangibles to help the team win. When you look at the fourth quarter, 18 points you guys had, what do you feel like you guys are lacking execution-wise or just shot making? Yeah, I, you know, we'll look at the tape. And, uh, you know, I got I to gotta watch it and study it and see exactly where we went wrong. Obviously, 18 points not good enough. 0 for 6 from the 3 is not good enough. And, um, you know, Book only getting two shots, not good enough. So all things that we can uh, look at and work on. With Book, it looked like he maybe landed on someone's foot and then also took a couple shots to the ribs. Was he all right after the game? Yeah, I mean, uh, when he landed on his foot, he was fine after that. Uh, I don't have an update on, on the ribs. It looked like he was, looked like Memphis was making a point to be as physical as possible with him um, and multiple um, guys. How much did you feel that was going to be the case coming Yeah, they did the last game. I mean, they just, it's not so much about being physical, it's about being uh, just overplaying, okay. you know, and making every catch difficult. And, uh, you know, they did a good job with it. You know, for the most part, we, we played through our counters pretty well. Um, you know, but we got to get, you know, I got I to make sure that he gets more involved in, in two shots in the fourth. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, Coach. Yeah.